This is the first dirty data, number one, badly structured sales data. Now, the first thing we we'll always have to do is to try to identify what we think is wrong with this data set. Now, usually a data set that we want to use in a tabular environment for analysis is supposed to have every group of data category belonging to their own columns. So, for example, it is not good for us to have a couple of ship modes running across the first row like this. Now, the fact that each of these guys that you see here are actually ship modes, then we are supposed to have a column for ship mode, right? Now, looking at this, really, what this technically means also is that, you know, from this column B all the way to this part, this is all first class. And then from here all the way to this place, this is all same day. This is all second class, while this one from here is also standard class all the way to this point. So essentially, the first row of the data set has ship modes, different mode of shipments. And since all of them are representing the same category of data, then it is supposed to be inside a column rather than inside a single row. Now, the same thing goes for number two, which is the segment. So row number two also contains different customer segments. We have consumers, we have home office, and we have corporate customers. These are all the same category or the same group of data set. If you think about it in an analysis sense of view, you see that you may want to do an analysis by the different ship modes, maybe how many transactions are coming from each of the different ship modes, that means you are supposed to have a ship mode as a column in your data set. You may also want to do an analysis by the different segments. Maybe you want to find out which of your customer segments has the largest market share. That means you are supposed to have segments inside a single column rather than inside a row. Typically, anything that we use for analysis is supposed to be, or any column we are going to be using for analysis is meant to have a column of their own. If you need to analyze by a particular group of data or by a category of data and you don't have that data all together in a singular column, that means you have to do something about it. And what do we have to do if we have data sets in a row-wise orientation instead of being in a column-wise orientation? We know there are two approaches to that. We can use transpose of tables and we can also use on pivoting. Now, the difference between transpose and on pivot is in terms of what exactly is happening. Now, remember that when you transpose a table, we usually transpose tables. Everything is going to be flipped. However, when we on pivot columns, the headers in our data tables are going to be used as columns, right? So, for example, if we're supposed to unpivot these ship modes now, then we know that we can rightly have them inside columns like this. Now, you are likely to see this pattern of data set a lot of times. The moment you see that you are having more than a singular row of data wrongly positioned, I mean, when you are supposed to have something inside columns, but you have them in rows and you are looking at your data set and you see that you have more than one of those things to deal with, then you know that you are going to have to use transpose in your cleaning. So I'm going to import this into my Power BI and we are going to clean this up. And our objective is to achieve something that looks like the clean version here, whereby this ship mode that we have on this row is supposed to be inside a column like this. And then this segment that we have inside of this row is also supposed to be inside a column like this. The order date is already good the way it is. It should be in columns. Whereas we also have to find a way to tie these numbers back to all those categories once we align them as columns. So I'm going to get data from Excel workbook, connecting to my Power Query Essentials folder, and I want to bring in the dirty data number one, badly structured sales data, and I'll click open. So here I am connecting to the dirty and not the clean. Transform data to open up my Power Query editor. Now, like we have identified before we imported that data into Power Query, we have to do a transpose because anytime you realize that you have to transpose more than a singular row of your data, then transpose is part of the option that you are going to need. 
So what we will do here is because we have to transpose this data set, you can see that Power Query has already used the first row as headers. And you know that when we want to use transpose, we need to have all our data in proper rows and not as headers. So I'm going to have to come to my applied steps here and I need to delete the last two steps, change type and also delete promoted headers. So I can have all my rows in view. Now I'm going to go to my transform tab and I'm going to click on transpose. However, my order date has now gone rogue, right? But that should not be a problem because I know that I can easily unpivot the order dates side of my data set and I'll have everything I need in order. So next thing I need to do is to go to my transform tab and use my first row as headers. Now I have my ship mode in the proper order. I have my segments in the proper order. I just need to unpivot the order date. Now, before I do that, if you look at these ship modes, we know that number two and number three are supposed to be first class, right? And number five and number six are supposed to be same day. So I'm going to have to right click on the ship mode column and fill down. Then I am going to select the ship mode column, hold control and select the segment column. And then I am going to right click on the header of any one of these two and on pivot other columns. Now I have my order date, except that I am supposed to apply the proper data type for this. And you will see that if I go to this, my order date, which is the attributes column and I select date, it's going to give me errors for two of those values. If I click in the cell for the error, this shows me that I have something here called something underscore 16. And if I click on the other one, I also have an underscore after the date, which makes the date to be invalid. So I'm going to remove the chain type step so that I can have what I had prior to the error. So this is what was there before. Now for me to have proper date, I am supposed to keep only the date part of this data set. Anything from the underscore is not meant to be part of this column. So I'm going to have to go to my extract and I will want to extract text before delimiter. And the delimiter I have to specify here is the underscore so that I can keep only the date part. I'm going to click OK. Then I can make this data type to be a date data type. 